24 lessons that I learned from 24 years of my life. The 3rd October of 2022. Absolutely special date and year for me. Year of the tiger according to Chinese calendar. I am absolutely blessed to have all of you over here. Lots of changes recently happened in my life. Lots of lessons each and every day, but there are four main ones that I want to share in this video with you. Oh, I wish that I knew them before. Lesson number one is self-awareness is an absolutely key for the happiness and satisfaction in life. My self-awareness takeaways are rest is absolutely crucial for me. I think way too much. And that is the phrase, by the way, from my friends. Thinking is my best friend and at the same time my worst enemy. I think right now I know how to deal with it. Next thing about self-awareness for me is to find the best way for me to eat, to keep my body in shape, to sleep well, to drink that much water that I need. Not what other people tell us, but what I feel is better for me. Takeaway number four from my self-awareness is I cannot live with calendar, with plan, with structure. It's absolutely not for me. Point number two is calendar is my boss. Let me elaborate on it a bit. I cannot live without strictly follow my schedule. And while so many people may think that strict schedule, everything there creates special borders or even prison for yourself because you are not free you don't have that freedom to create everything you want in your schedule but that is completely opposite organizing everything gives me so much freedom freedom of overthinking all over again to make the decision-making process whether i want to do it right now or later whether i want to do it at all or not whether i need to do it or i can delegate it for someone else i make that decision only once when i put events in my calendar and i do not think about it any other time just once and done at the same time i never put anything to my calendar that drains my energy or that i don't want to do or i know that i will not do that anyhow more insights about how to build this schedule that will work for you is in this video Save it right now in order to watch it a bit later. Step number three is love yourself. Get high quality me time is the thing that I have been underestimating for so many years in my life. Plan me time ahead. Know what is in your list for self-care. My last video was about the topic. I don't want to repeat everything right now here. Again, one more link. Save it for the later. Lesson number four comes from one of my biggest mistakes in life. One more thing that I have underestimated for so many years that I haven't paid enough attention to is investing in my friendship, in my relationships with people. Investment in your relationship doesn't have an immediate payoff. You can see return right away at work, but very very rarely in your relationship. Relationship may be like Chinese bamboo tree. Years 0 to 4, no growth. Year 5, it grows 90 feet tall or 27 meters in 5 weeks. Lesson number 5. Thoughts and emotions are our ultimate drivers for everything that we are doing. Emotions cause us to overeat, to binge watching, to overdrink, to say something not in a nice manner, to do something that you will regret later on. I told you already that my thoughts thoughts have been stopping me for years from doing what I really enjoy right now. For so long, I wanted to become a first one. Sometimes that approach just doesn't help me anyhow. But at the same time, lesson number seven, my approach to go for the first place helped me to be at that very point where I am right now. I won't be right if I say that that approach has never let me down. There were times when I was overwhelmed by my own belief that it had to be the first one. But at the same time, using that approach approach to the right direction led me to a life where I do what I really love doing. For that you gotta be brave and proactive. One of the examples from my life is I did presentation at work with 12 slides, not just three. Just because it became so subconscious, so I cannot behave anyhow differently. I really need to stop myself doing that much all the time. And that is one more challenge and one more lesson for me. Lesson number seven. I know, I know, I know that you've heard me saying so many times, but again and again, journal is my absolutely everything. I will keep emphasizing this enough till the end of my days, but journaling is my best friend right now. That is the place where I can reveal everything. All those thoughts that I keep parting there, they are not helping me, and that is the only way that I can immediately process them through my hand and let them down on the paper. So many people are afraid of doing this just because they think that, oh my goodness, when I will put it on my paper, it become real. But the worst thing that really can happen is when you keep repeating that very thought in your head and it will be so until the moment you put that down and if you are afraid of 
that very phrase, being on the paper, being that real, you can write it on a paper and then destroy it. Throw away, put it on the fire, but destroy it. So you will feel much better inside. You will not believe that it may affect you anyhow. That is how you literally release yourself from those thoughts. Some people go screaming in the car. My way to release all my emotions is to write all of them down. Sometimes to cry when I'm writing. Sometimes to process it with not very easy feelings. But our feelings are just the vibrations in our body. And once we put everything down, it helps us structure everything, prioritize everything. Notion, vision boards, so many different lists of tasks. Google Calendar are my best friends for prioritizing everything and for putting that into practice. Lesson number eight is to speak slowly and confidently makes that very big difference when you do public speaking. When you just introduce yourself and when you tell where are you from or do an elevator pitch about your business, every single time people put attention to that person that speaks very slowly, very confidently, calmly, and he or she doesn't rush into that very topic. They know what they want to say. They are absolutely calm compared to people who are just starting. They are nervous, they stutter, they keep repeating the same idea all over again. Just breathe in, breathe out and take it slowly. Lesson number nine is an approach that I dwell on. Everything that happens in our life is for our good. You may not see the lessons right away, but 100% they will appear sometime. You can call it positive thinking, positive mindset. You can tell me that that is so hard to realize that very truth in the moment when it is so hard for you, when that is a very big change in your life, when something dramatic is going on. Life never gives us those lessons, those challenges that it think we will not not be able to complete. It might sound really strange, it might sound really woo-woo or crazy stuff, but as of now I invite you to believe in it. Everything that happens is there to make us even stronger. I remember when I was tottering from 10 to 16, I was self-doubting myself as I don't know who. I had no idea why stuttering, why right now, why in my life, why me? By asking those questions, I didn't have any progress, but by just accepting it. Then, later on, several months ago actually, I realized why it was there in my life. Every single time when I had to tell something, when I had to go there and buy something in the shop, you know in those shops that you had to tell sellers what you want, not to just choose and bring to the cashier. Every single time I had to answer my phone calls. I was scared as I don't know who, but I just had to do it. I didn't have any other option. I had to answer my phone when something important was calling. And I felt that, okay, right now I know the stuttering will appear. Right now it will appear how on earth I will answer that person right now. But because each and every day I went through my fear, I was acting with me being so scared and shaking inside. I think I did it thousands and thousands of times. And that is how right now everything that scares me, I know that, okay, that is just a fear. That is just a vibration. These are just thoughts and emotions emotions in my head and in my body, I know that they are there. I know that I can accept them and I just keep going. Fear doesn't stop me anymore. Only because I trained that muscle so well, again, with the help of the stuttering. See how that phrase is completely different from me telling out loud so many years in my life that I was suffering, that I didn't have friends because of stuttering. Everything that happens in our lives is for our good. And when I was 16 and I wasn't able to speak at all, if someone told me, oh, Alona, you will understand one day that stuttering is for your good, I will never believe them. I will tell them that they are crazy. But see what is happening right now. Apply the same very lesson to your life, to what is happening with you. That might be even more dramatic, even deeper level of sorrow, of sadness, of anxiety. It doesn't mean that that lesson will not be applied to you. My gosh, I really feel that that very video is sort of unique in my history. It is really, really important for me. It is really my deep, deep insights, my deep, deep lessons that every single one of them I reveal to you. First, I feel like I'm naked. Second, I feel that I have so much to share. And third, that from one hand, everything can be found in the internet. From one hand, these are not the very 
very new lessons that I reveal to you. But those lessons I've been through, I've experienced in my life. Only when you don't just listen to them, but apply everything, dwell on them. But only in those cases, when you are experimenting with so many different things, only through insights, you can really learn those lessons. So if you find yourself in a position by the end of this video, oh yes, I know what she's talking about, but do you really know or you've just heard them? There should be a time before you really understand the whole depth of every single word that I am telling you in this video. If you want to find more, that is a very great moment for you to subscribe to my channel right now and like this video if you like it so far, because I know that that is just the beginning. Let's continue. Lesson number 10. What scares you the most is one of the biggest step for your next chapter in your life. I am not telling you here about fears like fear of deep water, fear of big spiders, fear of snakes. I am telling you here about those fears that caused by our illusions in our head. Series of thoughts that I had in my head. Oh my gosh, I am completely unprofessional to record that many videos on YouTube. Who on earth will listen to me? Why those people will be there and keep watching my videos all over again? Or how can I go out and perform my group coaching session in English for people that I have never met before, trying to change their lives just for 15 minutes in front of so many different people? How I can trust a person in relationship? What will go on when I move to a new country without any friends, relatives, family there? How I will go to those dance party when I have never done the social dancing before? Can you just imagine what might have happened in my life to me if one day in my past I would believe in all of those thoughts? Your idea is where would I be right now? Would I be sitting over here in front of you and recording this video? Would I be in the position where I conducted already so many different coaching groups in English with my Canadian clients. And that is absolutely the same path for you. Lesson number 11 is realization that every single person has their waves in life. Each and every one of us are sometimes on the top. And when you are on the top, it doesn't mean that you have to realize and think that oh my goodness it will be down right now what you need to do on the top is to enjoying each and every moment of your height memorizing each and every view on that top of the mountain that you are right now because you know that that is unique you know that not each and every time you climb the mountain successfully and when you are going down realize that you don't have to suffer you don't have to be very sad you don't have to be miserable at that very moment you can enjoy that process as well. That is like coming back to your car after climbing the mountain. You know that you are coming down, but you are not miserable. You are memorizing all of the points that you had on that mountain. So you just very carefully going down, learning your own lessons, knowing that that very moment teaches you so many different lessons that will strengthen you in order for you to climb even higher mountain in your next chapter of your life. Realizing that waves will be all the time there in your life. Every single person, no matter whether they are a billionaire or homeless people, every single person have their waves. And you are gotta accept everything that is happening right now in your life. That is the only thing how it works. I mentioned in my last video, accept everything that you cannot change and change everything that you should not accept. Sometimes we can change those waves, but in the majority of cases we are just gotta accept everything that is there. Once you realize that, can you really feel how less stressful is that. Okay, I know that all the time it's going to be waves. Once you know that you decrease that stress level, what's going to be next? Will I be back to the top of the mountain after that very long time in the down? Again, accept everything that you cannot change and change everything that you should not accept. Lesson number 12 is finding your mentors is absolutely crucial. Authors, YouTubers, coaches, any other experts in your field of interest, those people are wiser than you right now. They had much more experience than you are right now. They can help you to move much faster to your goal rather than you will do it by yourself. And at the same time, they are much less involved emotionally in your life, which means when you will be emotionally down, they will not really believe you. They will tell you that that is just one of the steps. You just got to move. You just got to learn and proceed what you really want in life, not just tucking in your emotions forever. Lesson number 13. Every single book, movie, steps in life, style of clothing, career, immigration, relationship, every single sphere 
in my life, I want to learn more through the experience of people that were there before. I don't want just to go to the library and read the first book that I saw and I like the cover. I want to know about a person who done that before worth being read right away. And by the way, bonus point, I realized that libraries are absolutely crucial, are absolutely precious in my life because you can find each and every book over there for free. Is it so obvious? But so many people just don't use that. That is one of my biggest life hacks from the summer. And again, when the experts that I follow tell me that very book changed my life, why on earth would not I read it? I don't know. So that is why I have so many books right now to read and I'm so happy to do that right now. But at the same time, be very careful and take each and every recommendation with a grain of salt. Every single one. Nutrition, business, career, travel, relationship. Take everything with a grain of salt. Personalize and test it in your life. For each and every one of us, every single recommendation will work differently. It's like if there was just one diet that works for everyone, the whole generation will be slim right now. And please check if that person is a real professional or just an expert with a great marketing campaign. Lesson number 15. Choose very wisely how you spend your health, attention and time. Those assets will never come back. Choose things that only energize you. Spend time with people that cheer you up. And by the way, thank you so much for your choice of investing your time and energy to my content. It is absolutely precious for me to realize that out of so many variations, out of so many options in your YouTube recommendations, you chose me. If you want to get even bigger return on your investment, come to our weekly Thursdays group coaching sessions. And I promise you, return of that investment will be absolutely priceless. All details in the first link under this video. Click the very first button on my website. Complete the Google form. I will contact you within 24 hours. We will find the best time for us to meet. Lesson number 16 is my gratitude to my parents is absolutely endless. I am still learning how to pay them back. And by the way, if you have any recommendations on how to pay your parents back, please let me know in the comments below. Lesson number 17. No news at all. Social media only once a day and checking your emails and chats in batches. Those three things consumes our energy as crazy. We do not realize it until the moment we start limiting it in our life. Lesson number 18. Without your 100% genuine belief in yourself and dreaming big, nothing will be accomplished. Elon Musk won't be Elon if he didn't have those two components. Belief in his idea and a big idea. In fact, more people I work with, I see that you don't have to have those profound knowledge in business, psychology, science, biology, physics. Everything is possible to gain through the years. Your success is not possible to gain in one day. It is hard work, belief in your idea and a big idea ahead of you. So if you want to build next the best IT platform in the world, why not? That can be you. Again, all you need, believe in your idea, have that idea in front of you and working hard consistently and unconditionally. And that is it. Full stop. Isn't it easy? Lesson number 19. Invest only in quality, not in quantity. Invest in what will bring you energy and joy. Invest in what will increase your standards in life. And then life will increase its level itself. I love that phrase. I am not that rich to spend money on cheap things. The meaning here is cheap things we have to buy all over and over again because they break so often. By the way, if an item is expensive, it doesn't all the time mean that that is a high quality. What it was for me investing in my lessons with coach for my figure skating. Because I know that my time has a limit and I know that my progress with the coach is three times faster rather than without them. Also, I invest in higher quality of clothes, higher quality of shoes, because I am not ready to replace them after several months. Quality of food, because I am not ready to invest in my health insurance later on in life. Quality of my gadgets. I don't want to waste money for 10 different headphones, but 
but I'd rather buy one expensive quality ones. Lesson number 20. The main way to energize myself is to do something proactive, even if I am absolutely exhausted. This is the only way I gain satisfaction. Go for a walk, script a video, complete the task, call or text my friend. These are all active things that I do in order to gain energy for me. Lesson number 21. Habits. I know, I know, I know, I know that so many people of us just hate that word as it is. We just don't want to start working on something else. We feel that we are not good enough because we don't have those habits established already in our life. That we need to live healthier, eat less sugar, sleep more, drink more water, eat more veggies rather than junk food. I know that that is far not the first time you listen to it. I know that it may sound really overwhelming. It may seem impossible to start doing in your life. Sooner or later, you will come to. One more great habit for me was to learn how to type fast. And yes, I wish I'd started this years before and in English. Atomic Habits is the book that I'm reading right now. Absolutely recommend it for each and every person, especially if you hate just word itself habits. Just read one chapter or listen to it less than 30 minutes. I guarantee your life will not be the same after this book. Lesson number 22. Travel, travel and travel. Travel memories are the most precious ones in my life. Travel memories I really love to revisit. You will never be retired with the thought, I wish I traveled less. So go ahead and plan your next trip right after this video. Lesson number 23. Consistency is a key for everything in my life. YouTube, blog, continue studying. There is no such a thing of success after one night. We have to consistently go for it, consistently believe in our idea, consistently have that bigger picture for our future and keep doing one step at a time. If you want to learn more how to master your consistency, watch this very video. Lesson number 24. Journey before destination. But there will be never a journey without identified destination. There will be no life, no inspiration, no motivation without a big goal in your life. And one big goal for each stage of your life. We may feel so overwhelmed when we have so many of them, but all we need is just focus on one, achieve it and go on. Otherwise, when you have hundreds of them, you will be on the same stage. You will never start. So again, focus on one, complete it, and proceed with the next point in your list. At the same time, if our goal is to run a marathon, most likely we'll have at least dozens of runs before that marathon, ideally to do so. If we hate each and every run before our marathon, we will not enjoy the marathon itself. We will be completely miserable by that very journey to that destination. Apply it to your goal, apply it to your destination, and find ways how you can start enjoying your journey today. And the early you start dreaming and fulfilling your goals, the faster you will get to the point in your life when you achieve what seemed to be absolutely impossible several years ago. What lesson of this video stood out to you? What is your takeaway from this video? Write this in the comments below. And while you are doing that, I really want to thank you for all your recent activity, for all your recent comments likes, subscription, and sharing my videos with your friends and other audience. Thank you so much. Especially thank you for those ones who were with me from the very beginning, almost a year right now. By the way, mention this in the comments as well, if you were with me from the very beginning. Overall, life is good. I'm happy. I truly love what I do. Love to have and to leave my mission. Life to have all of you. Thank you so much. 24. What a bright beginning of a big journey that is ahead of me. Are you ready to join? Here is one more quick reminder that if you are ready to join me on the journey, subscribe to my channel right now and hit that bell button to help YouTube algorithm to push my channel in order to meet even more like-minded people for our community. Do you remember the first lesson from this video? I know that there were so many of them, but it was self-care and self-awareness and self-love. There are so many tiny details that you can develop each and every day in order to become step-by-step -step happier and happier person, to become even better version of yourself. Everything starts with you. So start the journey towards yourself. Watch this very video right now. You can't fulfill others if you are an empty cup. Go fulfill yourself right now. Thank you so much for all of your congratulations with my birthday. I see you in that next one. Enjoy!